national security. Can you give us an update on the status of the plan to close Guantanamo mm -hmm. and whether or not the costs that the Pentagon uh, assigned or proposed for bringing a prison, prisoners to the United States uh, was too onerous or too high for the White House? Jeff, I know there's been some reporting uh, on this. Uh, I don't have all, uh, new information to share with you about the details of the conversations between the President and his national security team about this national security priority. Uh, I can tell you that part of the criteria that we've laid out, well, let me say it this way. The President's motivation for closing the President of Guantanamo Bay uh, essentially is twofold. The first is that we know that terrorists around the world use the continued operation of the prison at Guantanamo Bay uh, as a recruiting tool. And it has proven to be uh, a particularly persuasive one, uh, unfortunately. And it is our view, it's the President's view, that that recruiting tool should be taken away. Uh, and closing the prison at Guantanamo Bay would uh, serve that goal. Uh, the second reason that the President is enthusiastic about closing the prison at Guantanamo Bay is that it's not an effective or efficient use of taxpayer dollars. That the cost of operating the prison there, uh, I believe, is uh, uh, you know on the order of $400 million a year. Uh, and uh, it certainly is um, far more expensive to continue to operate the prison the way that it is now than it would be to pursue the approach that the administration has laid out for closing the prison that by transferring those individuals who are eligible to transfer, uh, by prosecuting those individuals that we believe can be effectively prosecuted, uh, and then detaining in the United States uh, those individuals that cannot be safely transferred or effectively prosecuted, uh, would be far cheaper uh, and would be a much better use of taxpayer dollars, considering that it would also take away a recruiting tool that is used by terrorists. So it's, we've got a pretty common sense case to make. I know that there have been some national security concerns that have been raised by Democrats and Republicans, frankly, on Capitol Hill, but those concerns don't account for the fact that there are already dozens of convicted terrorists uh, in U.S. prisons on U.S. soil right now, and that doesn't pose an undue threat to our national security. Uh, so you know, we haven't heard a, a particularly persuasive justification for why the strategy that we're trying to pursue uh, isn't a good idea. And you know, the other thing that warrants mentioning, and I'll keep this short, is that there are a whole host of Republicans that actually agree with the President's position, uh, including uh, George W. Bush, the President's predecessor, including uh, Senator John McCain, Senator Lindsey Graham, Senator uh, Susan Collins, uh, including uh, former Secretary of State Colin Powell, uh, and even national security officials like uh, Brent Scowcroft and uh, Condoleezza Rice. So among those who have devoted uh, most of their lives to keeping the country safe, whether you're a Democrat or Republican, you agree that closing the prison at Guantanamo Bay should be a priority. And the only reason that it hasn't gotten done so far is that, that, that members of Congress uh, have blocked it. So my question in response to the reporting by the journal is mm -hmm. whether or not the Pentagon's proposal is too expensive and if that's something for that reason why it's sent it back. Yeah. And what I'm saying is that I'm just not going to get into the, to the private consultations between the President and his national security team. What I will tell you is something that we've said before. Uh, which is relevant to your question, which is that uh, the President does believe that one of the reasons to close the prison at Guantanamo Bay is that we can more effectively um, uh, deal with the threats posed by these individuals uh, by closing the prison uh, and transferring those that can be transferred, prosecuting those that can be prosecuted, uh, and housing in the United States uh, those that uh, can't be dispensed with in the two previous categories. But does that hurt your argument about costs, if the cost of a prison on U.S. soil is ridiculously high? Well, again, uh, what uh, you'll, everyone will have an opportunity to evaluate that once a uh, specific plan has been put forward. Uh, you know, we've said that we'll present that plan to Congress, and when we do, we'll also make it public, and people have an opportunity to crunch the numbers for themselves.